Why aren't bridged amplifiers more popular? This question comes from Masood in Pakistan. And he writes, hi, Paul. Uh, I hope you're fine. I am. Thank you, Masood. Uh, I want to ask why we don't use bridge amplifiers more often. Well, let's start with <laughs> what the hell is a bridged amplifier? So a bridged amplifier is really two amplifiers to create one channel, where a non-bridged or traditional amplifier is a single channel amp that references between its output and ground. Okay, So we have a circuit on a traditional amplifier. It's an amplifier circuit. It has an output and you hook your plus red terminal of your speaker to that output and to the black terminal of your speaker, you connect it to ground, which is the same as the plug going in the wall, the ground for the plug, right? So, and that signal is bouncing between the ground and uh, up and down, and your speaker moves. In a bridged amplifier, there is no ground for the outputs. So the red terminal of your speaker hooks up to one channel of an amplifier internally, and the black terminal on your speaker hooks up to yet another channel that's inside. So now we have two channels of amplification that are going in opposite directions. They're called out of phase with each other. So as one goes up, the other goes down. And of course, we know that when we're generating an electrical current, we just need a difference. Right? So if the difference is between ground and the output, then we have current flowing and music comes. If one amplifier output is heading in one direction while the other is heading in the other direction, that difference also uh, generates a current in the speaker and, and we get music. Okay? So that's a bridged amplifier. So they're more expensive to make because we have two amplifiers where modules where there's only one. So why would we do it at all? It's a way to use lower power supply voltages so that we can have less expensive capacitors and all this other stuff and get a lot more power. So in a perfect world, if you have a 50 watt channel and you were to bridge that with another 50 watt amplifier, you'll turn that into a 200 watt amplifier because you'll get four times the power and twice the voltage. So that's an easy way for a designer to have a low voltage power supply and a powerful amplifier. They do this a lot in cars because cars run on 12 volts and so the less they have to jack the voltage up to, in order to make the amplifier work, um, the the easier it is to, to build it. Now, many, many amplifiers are bridged for a whole bunch of reasons. Now, our BHK amplifiers, those are bridged. And those are really expensive amplifiers. And we didn't do it for cost. We didn't do it to keep the power supplies low. We did it for a very different reason. We did it because we wanted the same sex transistors, all N-channel transistors, in the circuit because n-channels sound better than p-channels and in a full complementary amplifier you've got n and p's going back and forth half the signal handled by a p the other half handled by an n so we found that it sounds a lot better so that's why we bridged it um, some of our other amplifiers are bridged but that's because they are um, class d amplifiers and class d amplifiers are almost always bridged but not always um, so those are some of the, the, the quick reasons. Um, one of the problems with bridged amplifiers, though, is that they see half the impedance. So a bridged amplifier going into a 4-ohm speaker load, it sees 2 ohms. So now we have to build it far more robustly because impedance is hard to battle at the level of an amplifier. I could go on for, for days, and I don't want to bore you with it, but those are some of the reasons why um, people do and don't bridge amplifiers as designers. Lots of trade-offs. 
as we as we talked the other day about loudspeaker sensitivity affecting sound quality, everything in engineering is a trade-off. It's nothing's easy, nothing's perfect. We makes our choices and we takes our medicine <laughs> and we gets what we gets. But yeah, so hopefully that answers your question. All right, Masood, thanks. Bye.